Hello guys, Cryptograns here, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you some little gameplay clips from 3rd Prestige and my progress so far since I kind of started doing a little more stuff yesterday and today. So anyways, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. If you're new here, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications for future videos and live streams. Anyways, just to see what we got here. Alright, so basically, the 3rd Prestige... Um, I need to import my save because I kind of just reset myself before this video so so I can see you guys some new content. So, okay, I just snatched someone's save, so we're going to be kind of ahead. Um, normally the goal here, if you click on this third prestige button, which appears once you reached E308 Bitcoin, you see this button here and you're in for a treat. So we see this progress bar here just to determine that we get 1.12 E3 of this mystery crypto, or this mystery uh, third prestige cri uh, crypto, sorry, I cannot speak, on reset. So I recommend getting 500, which is E508, or 808. So you can get less if you want to. You'll just progress a little slower. And getting a lot, especially up to the E1000 um, Bitcoin, that'll really kind of help you progress. Yeah, so anyways, this is the prestige screen. Uh, let's go. Okay, so ignore that. Welcome to a whole new game. Let's start with the customization first. Enter a name for your cryptocurrency. We're gonna do crypto coin. Or now we're just gonna call it uh, crypto grounds. Just why not? Crypto grounds. I could do crypto grounds coins, but it's just too long. And plus, I'm gonna have a character limit. Let's actually change things up. Let's stick to a meme around my channel. Let's do seltzer. Let's do seltzer coin. Yeah, like that. Seltzer coin. And then for our abbreviation, we're going to do CELT, CELTS, or CELL. No, wait, no. How about cell -zer, cell -zer. <laughs> SELTZER. <laughs> I like that. Um, I might limit this to six characters, honestly, but I'm going to do SELTZER. <laughs> okay, enter a prestige name. I'm going to do obtain SELTZER. That's going to be the prestige name. You have to obtain SELTZER. <laughs> okay, so this is our prestige name. So the examples I provided was Kuakify, Bartify, Arm Barts, Ascend, Rebirth, etc. You can do anything you want, which is kind of the nice thing about this. Yeah. Okay. So anyways, press next. Now is your last chance to change your uh, customization. So you have the name, Seltzer Coin, Seltzer, Obtain Seltzer. Okay. Confirm. Sweet. Let's begin with the tutorial. Welcome to the third layer of content. Things are completely different now. You've worked so hard to get to this point, so now the game is heavily idle based. Woohoo! The currency you just received, the one you customized, now produce Bitcoin and Bitcoin will produce Ethereum. Most of Ethereum and Bitcoin content will be replaced with third prestige related stuff, and I'll show you guys that too. Server and BAT upgrades are replaced with new ones as well, and I haven't gotten to that yet. Be sure to check those out since they include some extra upgrades. There are six, uh, there are six game modes in this new layer of content, milestones, staking, faucets, freezing, burning, and FOMO. So I'm gonna add more over time as well if I feel like the if I feel like this isn't enough. Um, I mean I'm gonna add some extra things too as well. These are like the core concepts so far. I have milestone staking and a little bit of faucets. So I'm gonna show you guys all three of those. All right. So next, to gain access to these game modes, just hit the unlock button and read the tutorials to get a good understanding on how it works. There's no tutorial yet. And thank you for making it this far. I hope you, I hope it's been a fun journey so far. Enjoy. Made with love, Crypto Grounds. Start. It's so like one last thing. Be sure to click on the color picker to change the color of the interface. You like the customization I provided you for you, don't you? <laughs> um, all right, start for real. So cool. We are now on this screen. Everything's uh, the real deal now. So the color picker here, we can literally just change whatever color we want. I gotta fix that, but you can have it black if you want a, a darker interface, if you'd like. Okay, so we're gonna unlock staking, just jump right into that. So what we get here is we get seltzer and we get buying power. So buying power is used for staking, so you can stake your buying power into producing ability points. And that will be used for abilities such as two times Bitcoin generation, Ethereum generation, and milestone power. So later on, you'll come to a point where you can spend your um, your buying power, and you don't want to do that yet because you want to, and you don't want to spend all of it too, because you want to have some buying power in order to get enough ability points so you can get 
some of these abilities to activate. So I'll show you guys how these work later on. And I'm gonna change the color picker. I'm gonna do blue. Let's have a light, lighter blue like that. I think that looks really nice. And you can change color whenever you want. It's completely free. So yeah, I gotta fix some of these buttons though, because this is not supposed to be purple. Anyway, so what we're gonna do here is that now Bitcoin is being produced 0.11 Bitcoin per second, which is just basically um, in proportion to how much seltzer you have. And Ethereum is being produced based on how many Bitcoin you have. Okay, so it's not it's a little different where you don't just get to E308 Ethereum and then you get Bitcoin. I'm gonna do I'm doing things, I'm trying things a little differently, where basically things just grow over time. And obviously this won't explode or anything because we're um you know this it's not really exponential growth, it's polynomial growth. So if you don't know what that is, I'd go, I'd suggest you to Google it. So anyways, let's use our buying power here in staking. Let's get stuff moving. And I can honestly get this one right here, but I want to start with staking. So in staking here, we can enter BP to stake. So BP is your buying power. Okay, so we can choose a number. Let's just do 100. We can stake our buying power right here, and we can get 100 staked BP in here. So it's not going to be very useful because it's going to take 17 hours right now for it to activate. Also, I forgot to change this. I got to report that bug. Okay, so anyways, let's stake this um, buying power in here. So as you can see, we don't, we barely get any uh, AP, and obviously this is gonna take forever. And oh, we got a lot of two times game speed here. Alrighty then, <laughs> sure that works. Um, yeah. So basically, this fills up, and you get some AP. And obviously, this is not a lot at all. We're just gonna throw all of our buying power in here. Okay, so we get one hundredth of a <laughs> of an ability point. How useful. Anyways, let's make this actually useful. So now we have our, our next button to unlock here. Let's unlock that. Milestones, okay? So now you'll start generating milestone tokens here. So um, our milestones is basically how many prestiges you do. So basically, when you do three of the third prestiges, you unlock the next one here. Now, in all honesty, it's gonna kinda suck having to deal with this one right here for the entire third prestige. But that's why I made things idle, so you don't have to grind these out like crazy just in, in order to get th this next um, thing right here. And we actually have to do this twice too. So this might change, honestly. Really depends on how the progression of this entire third prestige goes. So anyways, yes, we are generating milestone tokens. These can be spent in milestone power right here. So here, oh, we have a null reference. Ah. Okay, I have no idea what that was. Just some just random error that I, I I don't even know what happened here. Anyways, so we have right now we have two um, power generators here. We have the faucet one, which we haven't even locked yet, so I gotta hide this later on, and the staking one. So we want to focus on the staking because obviously this is t really slow. So what this milestone power here does, it multiplies your speed and it also makes your reward better too. So let's start with this. So we're, I'm going to put in my 200 um, milestone tokens in here, and we should get some power percent per, um, yeah, power per, se per second. All right. So here you go. It's starting to fill up just a little bit, and you can go for staking, and this is making a huge difference already. Huge difference. And also, you can see our reward is going up too. So now we can get 30 ability points in an hour. So that's still not good. But this will speed up over time as we add more of these tokens here. Um, so the nice thing is that you can just keep spending all these and it just keeps increasing. Anyways, uh, we have E5 Ethereum. So we can move on to the next thing while this just waits. Again, it's idle based. So kind of just let things sit and grow. And it's supposed to be a relaxing experience. I want this to be kind of a, not like a slow, I mean, it is going to be kind of slow compared to like original, like doing a grand hard fork. Things are going to be slow. However, I want it to be a completely different experience. I want it to be calming, relaxing, and just not grindy. I just want you to just kind of sit back and just let it run and kind of enjoy it, I guess. So anyways, uh, let's unlock our next one, which is faucets. And this is the last one I can do. So here we can buy our uh, our generator faucets. Okay. So now before we go here, let's go to Ethereum. The previous UI is now re replaced with new UI. Okay. So this is obviously not finished here, but 
Um, no idea what this is going to be yet, to be honest. But here you can see that there's no more upgrades. We have all these faucets here. We have generator faucet, hard fork faucet, server, drone, achievement, offline, etc. So server faucet is going to actually generate server parts because you're not doing challenges anymore. So again, all of this is being replaced. It's a completely different game. And uh, so this this is the bonus faucet. So um, yeah, I'll have to see if I'm going to keep if I'm going to do this or not. But for now, it kind of hides the buttons back here. But yeah, that should. Also, if you're bored, this could be something you could do. You just spam the button while things happen. I don't know. I'll see what I'll do with that. But yeah, so here you'll see your stats on how much Ethereum you have. Obviously, these are not finished, so you can just ignore all these. Just focus on this generator faucet here. This is the only one I actually like finished and I'm testing right now. So let's go back to obtain seltzer. <laughs> I like that. Uh, let's buy our, our first faucet here. And right off the bat, we can see we get some boost here, except we don't. It's because of our milestone power is at 0%. So what are we going to do here? We're going to go back to milestones, click next to faucet, and go to our second uh, power generator here. And we're going to put some uh, milestone tokens in here as well, so we can get some power. Now, if you have more than one active at the same time, you will get a slower generation speed. So if you have all five active, you will get a 20% speed from all of them. So, <clears throat> um, I'm going to keep it like that for now. If it doesn't really work out, if it seems kind of weird uh, progression-wise, I will probably get rid of this. But otherwise, I'm just going to keep it like that for now. Um, just so you can focus on one because kind of the point is just to focus on one, but I want to multitask right now. So, okay. So now we have some action going on at Snaking and Faucet. So if we go back to Faucet here, you can see that we're starting to have a boost here because all of this is being multiplied by this percent here. Now, if this is at 100 right now, we would have around 34 times Ethereum. But that would be kind of OP to get that boost right off the start. So that's what Milestone uh, powers for. And eventually, I want to overclock this where you go beyond 100%. So you're actually getting more than what this actually is. So there's a lot of interesting mechanics I'm going to add to this for sure. I'm really hyped about it. But yeah, as you can see, the Ethereum is starting to generate and our staking is starting to fill up now. So <clears throat> in six minutes, less technically, we can get our first 100 ability points I will show you what they do. Um, I can just drain my first 100 real quick just to show you guys how it works. But honestly, this is kind of a thing that just builds up in the long term. And that's why I'm saying don't spend your um, your buying power on two times base effect. Okay, it's honestly not worth it right now. Once you kind of have enough ability points, once this is like at the point where you can just have one in here and it auto fills in here, that's when you can start spending the, the, the buying power. So anyways, I'm just going to let this go into a time lapse. I'll catch you guys when I want to uh, show you guys what's next. Okay, anyways, I'm back. I am playing Exponential Idol if you didn't see it in my webcam, but um, anyways, we have our first ability points. I'm going to kind of show you what that does real quick. So if you go to our dashboard right now, we're making 0.11 Bitcoin per second. Okay, so I'm going to switch the milestone on real quick, and you can see this is going to go fa much faster. Yeah, it gets faster. Okay, now let's go to the Bitcoin one. We have six seconds to take a look at this, so it should show 0 0.22. 23. Yeah, so now we're getting two times more Bitcoin for a little bit of time. So obviously that's why these ability uh, these ability points are going to be important because once later on you still have this staked here, but once you get enough ability points to have all three abilities on for a really long duration, it's going to help you gain more Bitcoin, more milestone power, and Ethereum. And eventually like the server and BIT upgrades, I'm going to have stuff boost stuff in here so unlike normal server and bit upgrades instead of up upgrading features like the automation uh, get more drones stuff like that it's going to be boosting everything in here so i'm going to be designing completely new upgrades and yeah it's going to be really cool guys i promise it's going to be interesting and again this is basically an entirely new game just with a different like starting currency which is your own and i think that's really cool also, this is not my save once again, so um, 
some cool things here is that you can see about Seltzer Coin, the abbreviations. Ooh, excuse me, Seltzer, who the creator is, and when it was created on. So I think that's also kind of cool. It's like a little certificate. What I also want to do eventually is make a share button where you can like take a screenshot, send with your friends. It'll show some cool like how much you like the like how much you have, like how much seltzer you have, like how much your um supply is. So like the seltzer coin supply is one point one two e three right now. So I think that'll just be kind of cool. Just a little have a little certificate thing for you to screenshot and just I don't know share with your friends if you want to. Uh, let's check on other things right now. So we have quite a bit of milestone tokens. So I'm gonna spend it on. Uh, let's see what's have faucet power doing what i also want to save up for is this right here this time boost right here so third prestige runtime makes ethereum production greater so things are going to be boosted based off your time and i'm probably gonna have to nerf this because it's literally just your time times this so i'm actually probably gonna have to do that in the back end before i actually buy this but yeah so right now we're getting 1.39 times ethereum not bad not bad but I really want to focus on the staking here so I can get some more milestone power going. So I'm going to take this all off so I can get my 100 speed. Okay, and then I'm just going to throw it all in staking power. So obviously the difference between um, 700 and 1,400, it's not too major, but it's it'll, this greater effect will last. Because um, you can see it's diminishing right now. So the further this, this percentage is, <laughs> the slower the generation is going to be. So yeah, I'm going to have to keep checking on this and keep adding uh, staking power and we will see this start to fill up. Also, I forgot to note that I, I totally forgot to start this timer. Uh, oh, you guys don't even see it, but I had a stopwatch going. Oh, where'd it go? I had it somewhere. <laughs> I guess I closed it. Aw. I had a little timer thing going. Stopwatch right here. Yeah, I was going to start this because I wanted to see how long it would take for me to get to a certain point, but I guess that didn't happen. So I'm just going to add, let's see, I've been recording for 26 minutes now, so it'd probably be around 20 minutes or so. I'm not really sure. If, uh, it's been 26 minutes already? No way. But yeah, I'm just going to start recording now, so sorry that I didn't start the timer earlier. Oh, I can actually see my runtime. Let's see. Let's pause this game. Let's pause this timer. Stop. So in the data main currency runtime, 1,660 seconds. Let's do the math. Divide that by 60. So 17 minutes. Okay, so we're about 17 minutes in. Okay, sounds good. Wow, 17 minutes. We have, we're only at E6 Ethereum. I'm telling you, it's a little slow. I know. So I'm probably going to have to buff this just a little bit, maybe. Because I know some people are not going to get this much seltzer. So only the skilled people will. But yeah, we'll make some adjustments here. Oh, we got ourselves some more ability points. So I'm just going to turn on this generator even though it's not worth it. Yeah, give me that. Whee! Yeah. <laughs> and also the cost goes up. The usage goes up as well. But it also just slowly decays. So, yep. Anyways, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. It's been uh, an hour, so looks like we got some good progress in. We have quite a bit of ability points, so and we have four percent milestone power. 
Okay, how much Ethereum do we have? 67. All right, so I think now it's time to focus on, I mean, milestone's pretty good. Our st stakes pretty, staking is pretty good. Our speed's like around two minutes or so. Um, well, except with two times game speed, but let's take them off. Uh, ooh, we got lots of stuff here. Okay. So, yeah, we have eight times more than we did before, but I'm going to throw this all into faucet power now. So I'm just going to put zero, 600 like that. I do an X zero on accident, but um, yeah, we'll just let that sit. Let's grow a little bit. Honestly, I think I'm going to buy maybe one or two of these. Obviously, I'm not going to get time boost in this video just because it's kind of slow. So, yeah, once we, ha once we have stuff going, I might have to make this cheaper or something just so we can get something to do because this is obviously just too slow. I mean, we got to E7 in like two hours. It's a little sad. So, yeah. I mean, I'll do some balancing. I'll get this going. The thing I don't I don't want to explode is this. Okay, so okay for now I'm gonna turn on milestone power and Bitcoin generate generation. Yeah, see it grows a little too fast in my opinion. So I think I need to like slow that down because that just grows really fast. Yeah, right here the ability cost just grows a little too fast. So I think I'm gonna reduce this by a lot so we can have it run for a while. However, it'll still grow. If we do one. 1.01 to the power of an hour. Let's see, the cost will be E15 more. So obviously it's going to explode still. <laughs> About six minutes. 35? Yeah, I think that's pretty good. I think that's pretty good. And obviously, in the future, we're going to get a lot of this stuff. So no need to worry. Okay, hurry up. I also need to implement offline progress. There's absolutely none whatsoever. So... Oh, uh, one more thing. What's really nice about this, this third press E system is that since none of the old UI is running, um, we're going to have a huge um, performance boost. Um, also, sorry if I sound weird. I have my retainers in right now. <laughs> um, but yeah, so here we go. What, I'm, I might buy one of these, actually. Let's just take, like, a few out. Like, mm, let's see. I think I'm going to take, like, 33 out. I'm sorry, can I do like zero? Okay, 33. Oh, that works. Okay, cool. Um, I'm going to take out that much so I can spend some on here. Uh, oh, it's not spending. Crap. <laughs> uh, okay. That's good to know. That it's not spending. Better to know now than earlier. I think it's taking away Ethereum instead. I think that's what actually happened there. All right, so now we're getting five times more Ethereum here. Obviously, we could keep spending away, but I'd rather still just delegate everything I can to um, our staking here. Okay, this is actually three minutes. So it's basically a minute and a half with two times game speed on. Let's see, turn, uh, two times milestone. Okay, yeah, so that's a little slower. Um, I wonder, if, I wonder if there's a reason why it's actually growing so fast. Oh, okay, it's going to three. Okay, in six minutes, it'll be 300 a second. Okay, I see. I see. <laughs> um, okay, I'm just going to divide this by 10. There we go. So now it'll grow 10 times slower. Because that's really fast still. Even though I reduced the exponent quite a bit. A lot, actually. It's still really fast. All right, we're an hour in. Oh, we can't see it, but yeah, it says an hour and... 33. I didn't adjust the crop. Okay. So, also, in our Ethereum, we should see the boost. Oh, it still doesn't show. Okay, I need to fix that then. But, yeah. Um, that screen is really just to show the number, like how much we're actually... Um, it would be from here. It would show 5.6. Okay, milestones. Let's see. Oh, yeah, that's much slower. That's much better. We can literally turn all three of these on if we wanted to. Now we're getting double, double mile, uh, milestone power. Though we're gonna see this like drain, uh, pretty quickly. We probably don't need Bitcoin, honestly, just milestone power, and not Ethereum. I need to get that E10, but I think that's just this is too expensive. 
I know, okay, the reason why it's 1E10 is because their first challenge is E10 as well. But I feel like I need to, I don't know, make this time boost cheaper. Um, probably make it E7. So I'm, I'm going to do that because it's really expensive. And that's a massive jump from absolutely doing, having no content or upgrades to buy from 5E10, 1E5 to E10. And again, our next thing here is E10. I think this is freezing. Um, I can't really remember what my order was, but these might be pushed back just a little bit just so you can focus on the faucets and stuff. I don't know. Again, I'll have to see. I'm not going to work on these until, um, faucets is pretty generally well balanced. Um, faucets. Let's see. Let's make this cost 1E7. That seems more friendly. Oh, that's the time cost. Yeah. A lot of these time costs are extremely expensive too. Like the last one for the... Um, what's the last one going to be? I think it's going to be the offline accelerator. I don't remember. But that one's going to be 1E20,000 e Ethereum. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to make sure there's offline progress and that it's um, not severely expensive as well. Um, okay, so this time boost also will need some... Let's see, time effect. Oh, never mind. Our runtime effect is good okay let's save it let's let's give it a shot i'm curious to see if it'll work or not i mean we've been playing for two hours so obviously we're gonna get a pretty good boost let's see log seven it's, it's probably like around eight eight hundred eight thousand seconds ish oh so we're gonna get a four times multiplier uh five times okay not bad again this is um that is without the of the percentage for the microphone, the, the, the milestone boost. Okay, let's buy this. Let's see if this works. I'm expecting something br to break. Nothing. Nothing. It's dead. Buy time. Is time even okay? <laughs> uh. <laughs> well, we know that's not working. That's for sure. Time cost right here. Uh, bot. So clearly it's not buying. Buy time. Man, I don't know why it's not working. Ethereum is, oh, we can check to see if it's subtracting our Ethereum. No, it's not even doing that. Okay, so that's this is our fault then. Interesting, interesting. The cost is one e seven, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> um, already then. One second. Oh, I see. Basically, it's saying that if we have the faucets unlocked, then we're just gonna return it. Oops, that is a operate. That is a operator error on me. It's supposed to be the explanation mark, which means um, basically, if it's not um, unlocked, then we're going to return. Most, co obviously, you coders will know what the explanation mark means, but in general terms, it, it, the explanation mark means it's the opposite of what we're, true or false. What's the opposite of true or, true or false? Okay, now it should work. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, it's multiplying. Ah! That's not good. It's multiplying. Oh, it's multiplying our base level. Big brain. Okay. <laughs> I see the issue here. It, it, <laughs> oops. Time unlocked. There we go. I made another oopsie. Uh, we want to set this to true. Yeah. Yeah, that's better. Now this should work. Also, I'm still playing exponential idle. I'm at E11B right now. I'm kind of going fast. I just turn on auto buy so I can actually focus on this, though I probably shouldn't since I won't progress as fast. It's whatever. Uh, error. Don't forget your semicolons, kids. I'm so addicted to Exponential Idol. I don't know. I just love how things grow in this game. And the game is just so easy to play and understand. I like how I talk about other games when I'm making a video about the game I'm working on. Hey, it's okay. It's alright. 
I like to talk about games I like. Uh, anyways. Man, this is great. This is great. Clearly, it's not unlocked. I know that for sure, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, man. If it's uh false, true, yeah. I'm just gonna do some testing. <laughs> okay. Just don't mind me. I'm just. Just gonna do my thing real quick. And pro hacker skills to fix this. Gosh, I sound so weird with this retainer in. It makes me. It, it gives me a lisp. <laughs> Sorry, I sound really stupid. <laughs> I thought that. Okay. This should work. Oh, wait, no, we gotta see. Okay, so this is false. If it's true, return. <laughs> uh, okay. Hmm. If it's false, then we're going to return, but it's true. If it's not false, I don't know what's going on here. I don't know. I don't know. This is interesting. Also, one more thing about Exponential Idol. I really love the graph in this game. It is so satisfying, and it's well done. It's beautiful. Okay, now we should see why this is an issue. I should get out of maximize. Okay. Bye. False. Okay. So basically, it's not breaking through here. Uh, big brain. Basically, it's saying if it's false, then we're going to return. That is intelligent. Wow. Sometimes I just forget what one small thing means. I had it before. Until I said, okay, no, we got to add the explanation mark. No, Crypto Grounds, you're stupid. If you want to add the explanation mark, then you want it to not pass if it was false. Well, I do. <laughs> That's the issue. <sighs> okay. I promise I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get to the, tie, the time brick <laughs> upgrade. Wow, it's currently 3 in the morning right now. <laughs> I'm a bit tired. Um, okay. Bye. Yay, from time. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. However, this effect is a lot stronger than it should be, I think. Let's let's do the math here. Eight times seventeen times two times two. That is five hundred forty-four. What percent do we have? Two times zero point zero two. Ten. Okay, so this is obviously a little broken here. Because when I added, the, okay, let's see. Time, let's remove time. Yeah, look at that. Time does a 10 times effect. Okay. Well, that's totally not broken at all by any means. Time effect says that we're doing much less than we're supposed to. Nice. Uh, I, I would multiply all these, but I don't, I don't know. Yeah, that wouldn't have any effect. Time. Okay. That's, yeah, it's honestly generally just really weird why this happens. Hold on. Okay, so the issue here is that according to our little time effect here, so it says that our, our boost is six times instead of 2.2. .2. Um, okay. Uh, oh, <laughs> from time, Ethereum effect. Ooh, genius. I'll take it. <laughs> It's okay. I like the big boost. I I just wanted to know why I was I saw it two times, but I guess that was another issue on me. Um, the nice thing about getting a large boost from that is that the cost difference will come into play. Cause right now it's huge, so there isn't like anything yet. So I guess that kind of just leaves a good margin. Ooh, excuse me. So instead of having to wait like an hour for that, we would have to wait like six minutes. Oh, wow. Excuse me. Wow, hiccups. Come now. Could have came a little before this. Uh, okay. Exponential idle. Okay. Oh. So, now this decides to work. So, we have an 86 times boost. Okay. So, now we're getting E8. That's... Okay. I don't know what that was, but... Um, anyways, so... Yeah, this is still a bit slow. However, we're starting to catch up here. So I might make this server 
a little slower or I may make this two times base a little cheaper or something. I don't know. But, or maybe I can um, buff some of these equations here. I mean, that would be pretty easy. Uh, let's check real quick. Um, actually, no. I was going to plug in all these numbers again just to make sure we were good. But yeah, that from time seems much better now. Uh, better than what it was. Okay. Anyways, um, there really isn't anything I can do other than just have this let it sit overnight. I could improve the... You know what? What I might do is that since I'm going to sit all night, I'm just going to split half of this. I'm just going to take all this, this all out and just split this between faucet and staking probably more towards mm, faucet because it has more room to grow um yeah because I, I still want that staking power i still want this to go faster and oh man this is still decaying holy cow <laughs> staking forever we see ya maybe Maybe. No. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's going to take a little while to drain. Okay. Anyways, I think that's all I have to show today. So I'll do some more balancing and I will get more stuff done and I'll catch up with you guys so I can see how much we have done. And yeah, I look forward to see what you guys' feedback is so far. And if you have any suggestions or questions or any of that cool stuff, let me know in the comments below. Anyway, smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you're new and turn on notifications for future live streams and more. Check out my Patreon, links in the description below. Or if you want to support my channel directly through YouTube, hit that join button below my video too. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a great day and night. Peace.